New Life at Five when you study finds Alabama, our state at the top of the list, we probably would rather not be on yeah. confrontational drivers. And we've reported to you several road rage incidents in our state. Some of them sadly have turned deadly. Just one last week, Forbes talked to thousands of people and most of you said Alabama has aggressive drivers. Tristan Rupert joins us now live with where Alabama fell in these rankings, Tristan. Morgan, we ended up pretty close to the top. We came in at number six and while studies or surveys, no matter how many are done, can be subjective. What no one can argue is that we have seen a lot of violent road rage incidents over the last year. If you type in WBRC road rage online, you see a number of results pop up. You're probably looking at that on your screen as we speak. And with the number of shootings or violent incidents increasing, I talked to law enforcement today about ways to stay safe and avoid these situations. Pleasant Grove Police Chief Danny Reed says, we really all just need to slow down and be more patient. Chief Reed also points to distracted driving as one of the things that creates animosity on the roads. We've all been behind people at red lights. As soon as they stop at that red light, the head goes down and they're texting and you got to honk the horn to say, hey man, it's just green. Uh, distracted driving is a huge problem in America and that is one that we're not immune to. To look at that full Forbes study or find out or take a look at some of the most recent road rage shooting stories we have up on our website, you can head over to the WBRC News app and click this story. Reporting in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.